Whoa, this is the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth, down at Westward Beach, chilling out with the uh, hologram and baby owl. The hologram's on a, uh, a walk with baby owl right now, pushing the stroller, doing her uh, morning walk down the beach. It's got a couple waves out in the water. Now I'm gonna go get a, a beach umbrella because uh, I'm realizing that might be one of the pieces of the new family kit I don't exactly have right now. Gotta have shade. Hologram nor the baby owl appreciate direct sunlight. So I'm walking over to the market to see if I can uh, get us a beach umbrella. But you know, the classic thing is it's been so hot and summer like out here at the beginning of September, dude. It's hard to get a beach umbrella because everybody bought all the beach umbrellas. And I've never needed a beach umbrella before. So the beach umbrella is a whole new dynamic to my dream. But uh, we went down to the beach last weekend and we borrowed the neighbor's beach umbrella. And it was uh, kind of an essential, essential part of the uh, family beach outing kit. Because, you know, that's the game I'm playing now. I'm a dad, I'm a family man. You know, and that's where I was like, kind of going to make this video because it's just starting to like gel the whole concept of like, yep, I got a kid, I got a stepdaughter, I got the best woman in the world as my partner, my fiance, the hologram, and uh, we're just super fired up. You know, it's got its struggles. It's, it's, it's radical being a sole provider. Let me tell you, dude, like as a guy who really was all about being super low budget and not having any overhead and zero expenses. Like, yeah, I got a, I got a pretty hefty monthly nut for a guy like me. It's nothing I can't manage, but it's a whole new, it's a whole new thing, that's for sure. But you know what, man? I woke up and I was hanging out with Baby Owl this morning and I was like, dude, this is so rad. I, Dude, it, it's really just starting to kind of click just how, how truly awesome it is to have like your own family, man. Like I, I'm getting it now, you know? It's, it's starting to, to really crystallize in my mind exactly what has happened to my life for the better. And it's cool, I ran into another buddy of mine who's 50, who just had a kid last year. You know, I was joking, I was like, well, we're the late bloomers to the game. And we were both talking about how stoked we were that, you know, We'd gone out and kind of lived life, man. So at this point, like having a kid is not some sort of distraction to living life. You know, it's the perfect time. Like I'm ready to be that guy. I, you know, in my 20s, I don't know if I would have been that fired up to have a kid, man. In my 30s even. But you know what it is? I was thinking about it today. If I'd had a kid in my 20s, my kid would be in college now and I wouldn't be hanging out with my little baby. I dig hanging out with baby Owl and having him look at me and give me that crazy little smile he gives me. It's pretty good stuff. Am I gonna jaywalk? I gotta, I gotta cross the highway here. It's always tricky. Oh, I got a magic spot. I can casually walk across the PCH, which is kind of unprecedented here. But you know, it's weird. A super casual Sunday. It's really rather nice out. Kind of just groove into the whole thing, man. I'm gonna see if they got this beach umbrella. Maybe, maybe put baby owl in the water a little bit. Ah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, to all you out there, it's never too late, man. It's never too late. That's the uh, 
That's the fascinating part about the whole deal. It is really never too late. You just never know what's going to happen in this life. So you got to stay loose, right? You got to stay ready. And you got to be willing to accept the new information as it arrives. Because uh, at any given moment, it could all change. And... Uh, Oh, here we got the beach umbrellas, dude. We're super fired up about that, dude. All right, all right. Do I get red or blue? What, what? What's the difference here? I don't know what's going on with the thing. I don't like those colors. I think we're just going red. Red beach umbrella, right? Or blue? I don't know. Big decisions in the beach umbrella game. I think blue makes more sense for somehow in my perception of it all. All right, man. Mission successful. Getting the beach umbrella. Ooh, colors. Ooh. I think you gotta go colors, dude, right? All about the colors. It costs a little more for colors, but I'm down with colors. I like colors. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's get back, make this purchase and get back to the beach. Whoa, camera out of control. You know, it's funny. I was making the, uh, the purchase of the beach umbrella. And I think this is my first official, like, family dynamic purchase, right? Like, family oriented. Like in a weird team, team spirit kind of purchase. Back across the highway again. It's always a challenge here. Oh wait, we got some sort of like lights in our favor. Lots of cars and stuff. But you know, we're not sweating that. You know why? Because I ain't sweating no cars. And here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Little jog. Watch out for the bicycle guys. It's all going on here on the PCH, man, on a Sunday in Malibu, California. Giddy up, people. Beach umbrella. That's some adult stuff right there in a weird, childlike way. Like in a fun sense. Because, you know, when you get a beach umbrella, man, that means you're going to be chilling out. Like a beach umbrella is not like some bad purchase, right? It's a good purchase. Because that's all about like chilling and hanging out with the fam and a little bit of shade by the shore. By the shore. We call it the beach out here on the East Coast. I think they call it the shore. Going down to the shore. Going down to the beach. All right, we're fully equipped kind of fired up super stoked they got the colors well for the colors cost me an extra five bucks for colors but you know what man gotta have a little flair gotta have a little flair in this life all right man super fired up super fired up